a guilty verdict in the Jody Arias trial. She was convicted of first degree murder late on Wednesday and today the jury returns to court to begin considering her pun punishment. ABC's Ryan Owens is in Phoenix, Arizona with the latest for us. Good morning, Robin. Convicted killer Jody Arias is on suicide watch at the jail this morning after telling a local television station here she would rather die than spend the rest of her life in prison. But of course, that's not up to her. First degree murder guilty. Five, Jody Arias could only wait a few minutes after being convicted five, to find a television murder, camera and start seven, talking. Five, she told the Fox station here in Phoenix what she wants the jury to do now. Well, the worst outcome for me would be natural life. I would much rather die sooner than later. She may get her wish. I said years ago that I'd rather get death than life, and that still is true today. I believe death is the ultimate freedom, so I'd rather just have my freedom soon, as soon as I can get it. The jury of eight men and four women deliberated 15 hours, convicting Arias of the premeditated murder of her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander, who she shot and repeatedly stabbed. <laughs> Alexander's family exhaled in relief and broke down in tears when they heard the word guilty. As for Jody Arias, dressed in all black, she barely flinched. It was almost as if she knew it was coming. Outside the Phoenix courthouse, the crowd erupted as word spread the state's most notorious defendant is now officially a convicted killer. Travis Alexander's closest friends, Chris and Sky Hughes, sat down with ABC News just after the verdict. It's been a tough five years, and today was... Uh, today was a really important day for our life, and we're just glad that it turned out the way it did. Yeah, I feel like I can breathe again. <laughs> so the Jody Arias trial is a long way from being over. Later today, the prosecution will present aggravating factors, basically arguing to this jury just how cruel this murder was. Then next week, the punishment phase begins, and Jody Arias, who you might remember, testified for 18 days during this phase of the trial will get a chance to take the stand again, and perhaps this time to beg for her life.